So the only reason I'm talking about this TV spot is because I didn't talk about the first trailer that came out. And as a guy who's really into comic books and I talk a lot about that kind of stuff on this channel, I really should talk about it. So let's get started. First off, I just wanted to say I'm not a huge X-Men fan. I just never was. I watched a little bit of the episodes of the cartoon, just mainly for Wolverine and the badass, you know, opening scene song. <laughs> Pretty much my exposure to X-Men. I own a couple of the comics. I own the, one of the first issues of Wolverine. I don't know if it's like it's the first one. I think it's the first one where he was, like, he got his first solo comic. And I own that comic, which is in complete mint condition. And I own a couple of the issues that came after it. I also own, a, like, one other issue of X-Men. Well, it's not really an issue. It's more of just, like, it's, it was in a collection of books that I got. It was, like, um... Uh, the book is called 100 Greatest Marvels, I think, and it was in one of those books that I got it in. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my exposure to X-Men. I was never really into them. I don't know a lot about the characters. I know the basic ones, though. Well, let's get on to the TV spot. What I can say about it is it, it looks it looks okay, you know? It looks pretty good. Um, I never got into the X-Men movies, though, because I've never seen any of the X-Men movies. Deadpool is going to be the first one I'm going to see, and I'm really looking forward to Deadpool, mainly because Deadpool, out of all the X-Men-type universe characters, like this, out of the certain group of the mutants, Deadpool and Wolverine have always been my favorites. That's because Wolverine has always been featured in a lot of books of other characters that I've read, like the Hulk and Ghost Rider and things like that. That's why that's my exposure to the X Men and also Deadpool. I love Deadpool. I love reading. I read a couple of his comics and I've seen him cross over with other characters. And that's my exposure to Deadpool. That's you know I love Deadpool. But this preview shows that's like shit is gonna happen. Like and that's something that all the X Men movies have really showed that like shit does happen for the most part. Like you know like I said I haven't seen any of the X Men movies up and coming to this. I will. I will review them all. I will put them up on this channel for you guys to watch. So, like, that'll be, like, me, like, viewing the X-Men movies for the first time. But... With this X-Men Apocalypse thing is that one thing I really notice is that although I don't know much about Apocalypse, he seems to be that one villain that every group, superhero group, or just individual superhero has. He is the don't mess with me villain. He's like the villain that you know could just wipe out the planet in an instant. You know, this is like, you know, what Darkseid is to Superman, what Thanos is to the Avengers, what Galactus is to the Fantastic Four. Everybody has those villains, and he's the one for the X-Men. Like, I don't really know a lot about him, though, but... And his design, to me, was always just kind of like... He had that very dark side Thanos-like design in the comics. And that's why, like, I was never, like... Never got huge in the X-Men. Like, again, like, I don't know much about him, so... I don't know any of his history... Or really even what his powers are. So, but what I did notice about this film, though, he's portrayed by Oscar Isaac, who played Poe in um, Star Wars Episode Seven, which I loved him in that movie. I know he, he's a great actor and everything, so I'm excited about that. But the problem is that <sighs> Apocalypse's design in this movie, it looks really stupid. It just doesn't look good. I'm just not a fan of it. And there's just some of these superheroes that looks like their comics translate well into into movies and some that don't, you know, it's just like, this is one of them that just doesn't. And that's something that I've always applauded the MCU movies of doing is that, like, they've updated and made their costumes for these heroes, like, even Captain America, which are so s stupid, and that's something that Marvel Comics has just done over the years in general. They update their costumes and they keep them version to where you're, like, they're not laughable as they you know, used to be. So, like, this Apocalypse's design, I'm really not a fan of it, you know, that's something in the X-Men movies that I always, like, never made me really want to watch them is that they seem like they're really just trying to stay away from putting them in like their traditional costumes because like when it comes to the x-men when i think of the x-men i think of the 90s like yellow and blue jumpsuit x-men from like the cartoon that i used to watch so anyway like the trailer it was good it was good i'm I'm not really, like, stoked for this movie. I, I, I want to see it. So, like, and I am going to see it. You know, as a comic book fan, I, I have to. So, that's, you know, really, that's my thoughts on the trailer. Is this, well, it looks good. You know, the destruction, you know, a lot of CGI and things like that. And it's kind of confusing. I think this one's based in, like, the 80s, I think. That's why we're getting, like, a younger Xavier and Beast and everything. So, okay. Well, I hope it comes out good. And that's pretty much my thoughts on the... TV spot and the X-Men in general. Like, I've never really been into them, but I guess now's the perfect time to be getting into them. As far as them be fitting into the MCU, like I've said before, like, I really do want to see them in the MCU, but um, at this point, like, this X-Men universe that they built in the movies, I think is just, like, you know, 
it's too far along to introduce him in the MCU. So maybe after Infinity War and after this, they might, you know, give him back. But I'm not sure. But anyway, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.